Hey guys, welcome back to Explainer X today, I am going to recap a 2006 romance drama movie. Name notes on a scandal. So, let's begin. It is the beginning of a new term at a comprehensive school in London. Barbara Covet is a history teacher with one secret, she loathes her students and despises her fellow teachers. Barbara also has a habit of journaling every day and expressing her feelings. Barbara has contempt for how teachers try to connect with students who are getting better at sneaking in drugs. During a meeting, the principal introduces a new art teacher, Sheba Hart. Barbara helps dissolve a fight in Sheba's class after a boy called Stephen Connolly beats up another boy for speaking inappropriately about Sheba. After this encounter, Sheba thanks Barbara for her help and so begins a friendship that would end in disaster. Barbara expresses how attracted she is becoming to the beautiful woman with a nice voice. Over the next scenes, we see Barbara and Sheba interacting more and becoming greater friends. One time, Sheba invites Barbara for lunch at her place and Barbara takes this as a great affair. She buys new clothes and makes her hair. However, she is surprised when she meets Richard, Sheba's husband. He is almost 20 years older than his wife and she hates him as soon as she sees him. Barbara also meets Sheba's daughter Polly who is in a relationship with a boy from school. Soon, Barbara's illusion of Sheba being in a perfect marriage with perfect children is shattered when she meets Sheba's son who has a disability. During the meal, Barbara expresses disgust at every little thing the family does only consoling herself by thinking about Sheba romantically. She notes that Sheba gets a phone call she picks up in secret. Sheba also shows Barbara her shed where she practices her art. After a while, Sheba expresses grief at losing her father and explains how her marriage with Richard is wonderful but does not give her meaning. She is also tired since she had spent the last 10 years taking care of their son Ben. Barbara slyly listens to her story while in reality, she wants to get closer to Sheba for her own selfish needs. Barbara's obsession takes on new heights when she starts documenting everything about Sheba and even posting pictures and hair strands on Sheba in her diary. One time during a school play, Barbara realizes that Sheba is taking too long to join her so she decides to see what is keeping her. She nearly gets a stroke when she sees Sheba in a classroom with the 15-year-old Steve who had been caught in a fight a few days ago. Barbara takes the news personally feeling very betrayed and she decides to act on it. As she is pondering the best thing to do, she realizes that she better confront Sheba directly. She calls Sheba and asks to meet her about Steve asking that she meets her soon. Barbara accuses Sheba of committing a crime by sleeping with an underage student and asks Sheba to explain how the affair started. Sheba explains that it started the day Barbara gave Steve a telling off for the fight. Sheba says that the boy would do little gestures like scoring goals for her and always being nice to her. One time, Steve shows Sheba some of the pictures he'd drawn of her and this motivates Sheba to start teaching Steve after school. For two weeks, all goes well until Sheba accidentally ruffles Steve's hair. Sheba realizes that she is treading on dangerous grounds and cancels the classes. However, Steve is relentless and one day, he confesses that his father hits him. Steve cannot tell his mother since she is sick with kidney disease and has a few months left unless she undergoes surgery. The vulnerability of the little boy touches a spot in Sheba's head and she decides to meet him that night at a bridge. Their meeting is intimate and that begins the first of many sexual encounters. Barbara cannot believe that Sheba would do do such a thing and Sheba expresses guilt at it saying that she felt needed with Steve. Sheba also states that she wanted to tell Barbara about the affair but felt she would put her dear friend in an impossible situation. She tells Barbara not to tell anyone until after Christmas since she needs to spend the holidays with her family. Barbara explains that she is not going to reveal the secret provided that Sheba ends things with the young boy immediately. Barbara realizes that by pretending to support Sheba through this, she will be closer to her and thus fall in love. Sheba gets home and finds that Polly's boyfriend cannot come and join the family for the Christmas celebrations. Barbara explains that Polly has a fetish for her boyfriend and it is clear that Barbara detests everyone in Sheba's life. Barbara joins her sister for the celebrations at Christmas. Barbara's sister asks her about a younger teacher, Jennifer, who she was close with. Barbara acts uninterested and explains that the teacher fell ill and changed schools. Elsewhere, we see that Sheba ends the relationship with Steve but the younger boy approaches Sheba at her home during the holidays. Sheba is unable to pull through with the breakup and ends up dating the boy. After Steve leaves, she Sheba breaks down showing that she feels bad for what she is doing but the thrill of it makes it a temptation she cannot resist. Meanwhile, Barbara's sister asks her if there is someone after Jennifer implying that Barbara might be a lesbian. Sheba gives Barbara a picture frame as a gift for the holidays and as usual, Barbara takes this as a gesture. Sheba continues her illicit affair.
affair but keeps it super hidden. However, she occasionally hooks up with Steve at her art lair. Barbara's beloved cat falls ill and this really affects her as she had grown very attached to it. The vet tells her that the cat would die in a few weeks and she takes her woes to Sheba. Barbara takes advantage of the situation by asking Sheba to help lift her moods by practicing something she used to do at her former school. Barbara asks Sheba to stretch her arms and she begins stroking her trying to ignite some passion. Sheba realizes that the gesture might be more than what it is supposed to be and she asks Barbara to leave. Barbara is hesitant until she sees someone climb over Sheba's garden and go into Sheba's house. She tells Sheba to call the police but Sheba says it must have been the neighbor kid. Suddenly, her phone rings and Barbara makes a go for it realizing that Sheba is still having an affair with Steve. Barbara looks at Sheba in disbelief and she storms out. Sheba follows her explaining that she tried to end things but she couldn't. Barbara tells Sheba that Steve cannot be with her for a long time and is merely using her to fulfill his fantasies. When things become heated, he is sure to dump her because she is so young. Barbara threatens to reveal the affair to Richard if Sheba does not end the relationship. Sheba goes to Steve's house and meets Steve's father who is nothing like like the vicious man he had depicted him to be. After Steve learns that the affair is out, he dumps Sheba explaining that he wanted to have fun hence he created the kidney and abuse story. Sheba is so devastated and she seeks comfort in Barbara. Over the next days, we see Barbara happy at Sheba's anguish since the poor woman can only share her sorrows with her. While Sheba's betrayal might have hurt her more than she lets on, Barbara feels that this misfortune helped bring her and Sheba closer together and she would soon get what she longs for. Barbara takes Sheba to a certain spot overlooking the city and confesses about Jennifer saying that she suffered from depression. Sheba listens to the story not knowing that Barbara is manipulating her and preying on her vulnerabilities. One time, this perfect illusion is shattered when Barbara learns that her cat is to be put down as it's time to travel to the animal kingdom has come. Barbara is advised to return for her final goodbyes and she goes to visit Sheba intending to bring her along. However, Sheba and her family are headed to Ben's school for a play he is participating in. Sheba explains that she cannot abandon her son but Barbara asks her to choose. Sheba chooses to go with her family and Barbara assumes this to be a betrayal suffering from a rage that knows no reason. After burying her cat later, Barbara is in her house reveling in the betrayal Sheba had committed when someone knocks at her door. It is Brian, a colleague of hers who also has an interest in Sheba. Barbara states that Sheba does not share her intimate life with her but she has heard rumors that she is engaged with Steve. Letting the cat out of the bag seems to send a message that Barbara is not the kind-hearted woman she seemed to be. After Brian leaves, Sheba calls inviting Barbara over for dinner. Barbara is at Sheba's house when someone pounds at the door. Steve's mother comes in and starts attacking Sheba asking how she could do such a thing to her child. This whole fiasco attracts Polly and Ben not to mention the fallout between Richard and Sheba. Barbara sits on the sidelines watching it all play out and denying knowledge of the affair. However, her ruse is up when the principal reveals that he knows about Jennifer. Apparently, Jennifer had filed a restraining order on Barbara since she was stalking her and her fiancé. Barbara agrees to resign. She links up with Sheba who is sad thinking that Steve had revealed the affair to his mother. Due to the argument with Richard, Sheba moves out and starts living with Barbara. Barbara explains that the month she stays with Sheba is the best one of her life. She expresses how tempted she has been to have her way with Sheba but she will be patient. The news of the scandal is broadcasted everywhere and journalists are camping outside Barbara's house. One day, Barbara is at the market purchasing some supplies when Sheba sees a trail of golden stars and a piece of diary paper in the trash. She starts rummaging through the house and finds the diary revealing that Barbara had been the one to let the affair out. Sheba strikes Barbara when she comes back realizing what a psycho she really is. Sheba gets out but the media bombard her and she gets overwhelmed until Barbara saves her. However, she puts an end to that toxic relationship with Barbara and goes back home. From a newspaper article, we learn that Sheba got 10 months of jail time but might have reconciled with her family. Meanwhile, Barbara meets a young woman at the spot overlooking the city and befriends her inviting her to a concert. Maybe this woman is a predator looking at her next victim. And with this our movie end here. I hope you enjoyed the video so click any video of three of them and enjoy next please don't forget to subscribe our channel and please like the video and tell us in the comment how you like the video I see you soon.